Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Survival in Project Zomboid. Picking up here March 18th with Mr. Wayne Jackson. Out on the road, heading down to the uh, crossroads where that uh, big pile of wrecked cars is. We're going to do some dismantling of cars, try and get some metal materials. Because I want to make a metal fence today. I want to make another metal fence today. Some more work around the base. So while we're driving down there, let's talk about some other stuff that's going on with the channel recently. I'm working on putting together uh, some highlight videos uh, for all the exciting events that we've encountered thus far in Season 5. So check those videos out. First one was put up over the weekend uh, on Saturday. And uh, I'm going to try and... I'm doing them in kind of 10 episode chunks. So, I don't know, if all goes well, I guess there will be 10 highlight videos. We'll see. I, I know I tried doing this uh, with a previous season, and I, I kind of uh, stopped doing it after um, a few highlight videos. But I'm going to try and get through all 97 episodes, at least up until today. We're playing on a new update of the I Will Back Up My Saves branch. They've done some tweaks to the uh, the new wind effects, the new tree sway. So everything isn't quite as pronounced as it was in the last couple episodes. Um, if we get past these groups of zombies, I'll actually just pull over for a second and uh, we'll see that the trees actually aren't moving at all right now because there's no wind. Yeah, let's just pull over here for a second. So before, uh, you could see some movement always in the trees. So I've toned that right down. Uh, we should only see uh, some tree sway when it's actually windy. Which is cool. Looking forward to the next build which will be animations. We've waited a long time. And, uh, I don't know, each week they keep saying, it's coming, it's coming. So, we'll just hang tight. Just passing the diner up there. We're very close to the crossroads now. It's just a little bit further. Now, I have been down here before. This is where we got all the materials so we could make our playground half fence. So, a good chunk of the cars have been dismantled. But there are still... Some wrecks here to go through. You can see I actually just focused on picking up all the pipes. So there are metal bars and metal sheets on the ground here waiting to be picked up. Looks like we might have some new decals on these uh, crash cars. Or is that just glitched? That area there and some blood. Interesting. Okay, so everything on this axis is done I think the big chunk of cars left will be up here yeah so let's just park our car here hop out grab our welding supplies now I've put a bunch of our backpack stuff into this garbage bag just to make the list a little bit shorter so let's dump that on the ground we've got our welding torch which is almost empty we got our welding mask in there. Put that garbage bag back in. I do have our school bag filled with uh, all our good torches. So we got four full ones plus one. That's about 25%. So let's, uh, let's just put those maybe into this bag here. And pick up the school bag. And we have a bunch of bags to toss metal items into. Now, I'll need to figure out exactly what we need to make these fences. So, just a refresher. For metalworking, we are at level 5. Ways to go to get to level 6. The things that we can make... Let's see, metal fence, pole fence, wire fence, big wire fence, big pole fence. So we want something big. Probably the wired fence. Uh, so this takes metal working of four, so we could do that one. We could also make the big wired fence. Or actually, this is the short one, so yeah, we'd want to do the big wired fence. 
So this takes uh, three metal pipes and four scrap metal. All right. The lockers are level six, metal counters. Like, they're, like, what do we use the large metal sheets for? I guess we can just cut them down into small ones. We can make small metal sheets. Hmm. All right, well, scrap and pipes are going to be the big ones. Or not pipes, but metal, uh, what do they call them, metal tubes? All right, well, let's get to uh, dismantling. I guess this torch doesn't have enough in it, so we'll uh, let me pull out this one. And we'll just empty one into the other. There we go. Let's uh, let's actually put this down, and we'll just dump the empty ones into here. Okay. So let's see what kind of materials we can get from these cars. It's already 7:10 p.m., so we don't have a lot of time. Oh, is that um, not enough either? Jeez, we might be going through a lot of... Maybe I should just empty all of these. Or take all of them into my main inventory. Let's do that. But yeah, we might end up going through a lot of this stuff. Um, okay, so I need to... Unequip this. And then I guess equip one of the good ones. Or equip secondary, I guess. Oh god. Where's my mask? Uh, primary. Alright. Do I have to drop this other one? Is the game confused? Yes, it is. Alright. Well, once this other one gets kind of low, we'll just refill it with the uh, partially empty one. Tube there. Dismantle this. Metal working is slowly creeping up. This one gave us a lot of tubes. That's good. Hey, is that a sports car? Burnt out sports car. Okay. Got a nice temperature too. 8.4 degrees outside. Let's go ahead and eat a burger that we've brought with us. Burger with some fish and some small bird meat. Tomato and lettuce or cabbage. I think there's still a fair amount. Yeah, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 wrecks to go through here. Just gotta find the sweet spot. We might be able to bring all this scrap back with us. It's a shame that we actually don't get scrap metal, like the actual scrap metal. But we should be able to bring all these metal items back in our car. And we seem to be doing good with our blowtorch. And uh, not quite, we're about a, a quarter of the way, a third of the way now to level six. Every level you increase, you're supposed to get more materials from dismantling. So I think it's a good thing that we waited until we were at least level 4 or 5 before dismantling these uh, huge pileups. Get more bang for your buck. Alright, one more after this. And yeah, we're just over a third of the way now. Cool. Alright. So we got everything. 
And uh, we just went through this torch, so that worked out well. Let's get our bags equipped here. And we'll go big hiking bag primary. All right, start throwing all this stuff inside, I guess. Grab as much as we can. One of the other changes or fixes in this uh, update has to do with barricading. Apparently now you will use three metal bars when attempting to barricade a window or a door for that matter, I guess. There was also a, a bug before where you would get an extra pipe, an extra metal pipe when you took barricades off of windows. So apparently that has been fixed now. All right, let's drop these bags off. Or actually, this one, we could probably fit a few more if we take those bags out. Yeah, fit a few more metal sheets. And that would be too heavy. Uh, small, yeah, we can put one more. Okay, so let's drop these off in our car. Just toss them in the back, and I'll take uh, that bag out and this bag out. Probably need all the bags we got. Dump those in. Rinse and repeat. Primary, secondary. Okay, let me pick up all this stuff and uh, and we'll continue on. There we go, I think I've got pretty much everything. Let's just pick up our school bag, propane torches. Uh, I've got a few more metal bars here. Grab those. And we've got a pretty full car now. Let's take a quick peek maybe in some of the, oh, maybe I have already checked these trunks. Yep. Uh, I should check this heavy duty vehicle up here. So we do need new tires. I doubt this would have performance tires, but. Uh, it's got crap. Crap, crap, crap. Nothing good. Yeah, I've apparently opened up all these. Or most of them. Gas can, umbrella, lug wrench. Yep, okay. So I guess that's it. Got up to 1121 out of 3000 for that. On the way home, we're gonna swing by uh, Pony Romo, I think. And uh, I wanna grab some sand for a sand pit for the playground. And while we're up at Pony Romo, I might actually grab some more. Well, I guess I don't have much room in the car. So I might grab some flooring for the, uh, the art gallery, but I might have to wait. Anyway, let's make the uh, drive back now. Okay, we are approaching Pony Romo. I'm just uh, stuffing my face with some vitamins here to wake up. It's 4 a.m. Gotta go get some sand. So there's a sand pit, well not really a sand pit, but um, yeah, there's a bunch of sand up there, so that's where we're gonna go. Um, I'm just gonna park back here. Oh, it looks like there's actually sand on the side of the road there too. But for the interest of uh, less boring content, we'll go where there's more zombies. <laughs> Wayne is so jaded in the apocalypse, he needs to get his thrills somehow. All right, I actually get my um, shovel too, my sandbags. I shall need those. Okay, let's grab that stuff first. So, shovel. 
And the sacks. Good. Um, let me just, oh, we got a crawler here. Goddamn crawler. Ah, whatever. Let's just um, get the sand and then move on. I was uh, starting to worry there about my carry weight, but we shall manage. So, yeah, we'll kill these guys. Our sneak is half decent. We can really get around most zombies without them seeing us or hearing us. What is our sneak at? Is that five or? Yeah, level five. On our way to level six. And there we go. Okay. So I got four sacks. It's enough for 16 sand. But um, I don't know if we need to get all 16. We'll take as much as we can, I guess. And we will have our own sand pit. Be a proper playground. So a full bag, how much is that way? Two, hardly anything, okay. I guess we can fill up all four then. All right, it's almost done. And that should be the last one. All right, perfect. Okay, we have our sand. That mission is accomplished. Let's put these bags in there. And we'll see how much room is left in the car. I might try and grab some more uh, flooring from some of these houses over here. I won't be able to quite fit all four in this one. All right, so we got, uh, let's see, about six units in there. We got about three in there, so nine. Probably about six and six. So probably about 21. We could probably fit uh, seven uh, things of floor tiling. Plus whatever we can fit in our bag, I guess. Grab our crowbar. And uh, we might as well drive over there. So I think there's some kind of a yellowish hardwood floor down in these houses uh, over here. Might be all right for the art gallery. Okay, so let's pop out here, clear out these guys, shouldn't be too many over here. Should be able to pull up planks without too much worry. Okay, I've pulled out most of these windows, I think, or attempted to. So that's why everything's smashed in. Well, I mean, it could be zombies too, but... Alright, so this birchwood... Oh, it actually only weighs two. Not three. I guess the tiles weigh three. Yeah, so let's take some of this birchwood flooring. Okay, our full. Let's transfer stuff to our bag. Okay, we'll, oh, 
I guess I can't really put this bag in there though. The birch wood floor has to go in individually. Okay. Well, let's do that. Okay, so. Put as many as we can in here. And there's the other seat. Uh, where is this other seat? Isn't there another? There we go. Cool. Toss this in the back. All right, that's full. That's full. Well, I guess that's pretty much full too. Okay. Well, we still have normal hiking bag, so I guess we'll three bag it. Out of here. Let's continue picking up some more. Until we can't carry any more. Dump this stuff into the bag. Guess we could even fit one in our other bag if we wanted to. Uh, 11, so it'll be 22. Yeah, that's, that's enough for a normal hiking bag, isn't it? All right, it's 20. Okay, go primary. And let's pick these up. Cool. And will it let me pick up any more? Yes, it will. Not many, though. Okay. Put that primary. And let's head back home. There we go. Back home. At last, 10 a.m. Hopefully, our generator is still going here. Uh, let's. Start by putting, well, I'll check the generator first, then we'll put down the flooring in the art gallery. Sounds like it's still humming away. How much is left in here? 40. Okay, that's enough. It's enough to do what we need to do. So let's head up to the gallery. We'll put down this flooring. Then we'll go do our sand pit. All right, so. Yeah, I think it'll uh, be all right. We'll need quite a bit to fill this whole room, but um, I think it'll be okay. What do you guys think? Would you rather have tile in here? Only carry a few pieces at a time, though. That's the only slightly annoying thing. Okay, so there's that. Kind of gives you an idea of what it will look like. Uh, why are we so weighted down? Oh yeah. Let's. We got more planks in here. Oh yeah, we got ten more in here. Okay. Let's unpack this bag. And we'll put all these down. I mean, we'll have a good portion of it done today. Let's continue going this direction. Luckily, we can put them under the stairs. Okay, good. All right. So that's a start there. Let's go put down our sand pit. Grab... Oh. I guess I still have my shovel on me. Uh, sand is on the other side. Yeah, I don't think we'll use all this sand. Okay. So I was thinking of putting it uh, in this corner. I mean, I guess we could put some at the bottom of the slide too. Hmm. 
might look kind of weird though. Just having one, one, one uh, square there, one tile. But uh, yeah, we'll have a proper playground now. Oh, uh, wait a minute. This is the door. Yeah, so I guess we don't really want to go in front of that. Okay, there's our sand pit. Let's just remove this grass. There we go. I don't know, should we do any sand? Uh, around here? Let's see what it looks like. We always pick it up too. I guess we won't have grass there though after. I think it'll look okay. Or do we want just that? Maybe just that. And we could connect the two. Anyway, you let me know uh, what you think. If we want some sand somewhere else, we'll just keep this stuff here for now. Oh, we actually... What? We used three sacks? Is there not four? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's two bags. Yeah, I guess we did use three sacks. Okay, well, we have one sack left. If you have any suggestions on where that should go, let me know. So that's done. Uh, let's finish doing these birchwood flooring. And then we can start working on our fence. And the fence that I want to do is is that all the planks? I think so. Uh, is going to be along here or around here, our little lounge area down there. So I'd like to put uh, maybe a, a fence like one out and then all the way across, and then kind of do the same thing on the back. Maybe fence this area in and then down to the garage. I mean that's going to take a lot of pipe. Gonna be a little bit of a long term project. That's kind of what it, my thought was for the chain link fence. So we'll just put down the rest of this flooring. And yeah, we did pretty good. We'll need an, at least another, at least three times that much, I would say, to finish uh, the art gallery. But good progress. So now, if we want to do our metal working stuff, let's see how many metal pipes we have. Um, I'll have to go grab some scrap metal too. Maybe I'll grab that first. So we need four scrap metal per panel. We have 39 in here. I think I have some more over here. So it's definitely not enough to finish it all. Let's grab these metal pipes. Yeah, so I got enough for like 11 panels. I think that's all that I have. Yeah, smell metal sheets, metal bars. I probably should have exploited that uh, metal barricade uh, bug where it would give us more metal pipes. Um, what do I want here? Down to 26%. Alright, let's, uh, let's dump this in there. Oh, I've also replanted everything in our big garden outside. So I've done our, our carrots and our radishes under here. I've already had a harvest. And then as you can see, everything's planted up in our big garden and uh, we're actually ready to harvest some cabbage uh, right away here too so lots of food oh and I, I, I while foraging I also found some wild eggs that's the first time I've ever found wild eggs okay um, stay focused here let's go get some more metal pipes so let's just dump these on the ground Let's 
see what we got. Pick these up. And we'll just take what we need. Let's look up that. Let's pick this one up. That. Jump. Yeah, we got a lot of metal parts here. All right, so we want the metal pipes. Let's grab all those. It's our padded pants. Can I put those upstairs still? Oh, we got a fair amount of metal pipe. Uh, we need... Uh, three metal pipe per panel. So we probably have enough metal pipe to do this all. Everything that we want to do. I think it'll just be the uh, scramp that we have to worry about. Alright, so I got all my torches. Scrap those. Okay, I think that's all the metal pipe I have. So let's see what we can do here. Don't quite have the skill though to put the uh, the the matching double fence. Oh, that's a double fence gate. I just want, I guess, a big pole fence gate. Yeah, so we'd have to get to level seven to do that. I guess we would just put a, a wooden door on for now. So, metalworking, uh, walls and fence, uh, what am I missing? Oh, my welding rods, let me grab that. Yeah, we need a metal, or the welding rods and then some wires. So I got all that stuff now. So, big wire fence. That will look pretty cool. Now, our metalworking is at 1121. I'm always interested to see how much we actually get. Uh, for each piece. So I'm thinking going across like up one and then going across so the fire hydrant will be outside. Uh, that'll go across all the way there. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven for the corner. And then I guess across here it would still be eleven. And then how we, how however many down here, so uh, let's say 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, probably about 29 or 30 panels in all uh, to do this whole enclosure. So let's say if we do 30, that means we would need uh, scrap metal, 120 scrap metal. Yeah, that's uh, way more than we have. And 90 pipe. What do I have now? <laughs> I got 9 pipe here. 19, 28. Mm, maybe that's too much. Well, we could just do a log wall on the back, do a metal, uh, the fence on the front maybe. And then uh, we'll just keep our eye out for metal pipe and scrap. All right, so again, 11.21. Let's start this off. So from 11.21 to 11.61, so 40 XP per panel. Pretty good. I think I'll leave a gap uh, right here for a door, right by the sheet rope. Okay, and we'll just continue on down here. Looks pretty cool. And we are out of, what are we out of? Middle pipe. Let's unpack the metal pipe that we do have. Oh, did I use it all? Oh, I guess we used it all. Oh, we're one short. 
Hmm. Okay. Let's double check these bags. Let's make sure there wasn't any any more left. And I don't think you can make metal pipes. Let's go to our crafting. Um, yeah, we're about halfway now to level six. Uh, let's see, metalworking. No, we can make metal sheets, but we can't make anything else. I just need two more pipes. Ah, two pipes, perfect. Okay, at least we can finish the uh, front. So, let's put this last panel on. Cool. Alright, there's our metal fence. Um, let me just pull the standpipe up. It's a little bit glitched, so I just want to put it down so it's not. There we go. Okay, cool. So, yeah, what do you guys think? I will put a, uh, I'll continue a log wall around the back uh, for now. I'll put a wooden door in here because I don't think there's anything else we can really put there. Yeah, it's a long way to get to level seven, so we'll just have to make uh, make do with a wooden door. But yeah, that does it for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. The work on the base continues; it's never ending. There's always more stuff to do. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more highlight videos coming up very soon. And you know, as soon as that new animation build drops uh, we will be starting a new season so everyone start the hype train for that thanks a lot for watching guys until next time i'll talk to you all later